Hey guys, how you doing? This is the Mad Chief here. I'm going to be going over uh, Halo 5, um, specifically Forge for Windows 10 today. Now what this is, is this is the Halo 5 multiplayer experience uh, that is built for uh, the Windows 10 operating system. Um, it's a Windows Store app, so you can't use it for other Windows um, operating systems, but uh, specifically it was meant for um, essentially being able to build Forge maps on the PC, which um, you can then access in the Xbox uh, ecosystem, but you also have the ability to play custom games on um, Halo 5 uh, Forge on Windows 10. And the great thing is, is that it's free. So uh, here I am right now. You can see I have it pulled up on the Microsoft Store. It's just called uh, Halo 5 Forge Bundle. Um, one thing to note, though, is that uh, when you download it, it will not only download Halo 5 Forge, but it will also download a Halo app. Now, uh, beware that you want to immediately uninstall the Halo app and only keep the Halo 5 Forge app. If you have both of these installed, then Halo 5 Forge will fail to launch. It just won't work. Um, it'll open like a little window, but nothing will populate and the window will automatically close. Um, this is uh, definitely kind of been abandoned by Microsoft a bit, but to fix it, you just have to make sure you have the Halo app right here uninstalled, and then uh, Halo 5 Forge will launch just fine without any problems whatsoever. So um, since I already have this installed, let's go ahead and open it up real quick. And you'll see as it starts up, it um, looks like uh, Halo 5 Guardians booting so far. And here's the menu. Of course, Halo 5 Guardians, except you see that it says Halo 5 Forge. That's because, um, that's because, you know, it, this doesn't include the actual Halo campaign, Halo 5 campaign, and it doesn't actually have, um, multiplayer matchmaking. It only has the customs game browser. But we're going to take a look at that. You see, it's, um, the same basic, uh, setup as, um, as Halo 5 Guardians so far. Um, you have a lot of similarities. It's gonna pull over uh, your basic profile from Halo 5 Guardians, uh, whatever is connected to your um, Microsoft or Xbox account. Um, what we can do though, if we go over here. Uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. I'll click on that, yeah. Okay, and that um, that shows you your uh, Spartan as you have it designed in Halo 5 Guardians. It doesn't let you actually change your Spartan's uh, design or color scheme in here. You do have to be in the full-fledged game for that, but it does let you see it. And it does let you see what you set up your uh, gamer tag and card and everything to be over here as well as your level. Um, anyhow. Uh, and this does have support for uh, 4K. Um, it does max out at 60 FPS, regardless of what your computer has the ability to do, though. Um, or, or 60 Hertz, I should say. Um, refresh rate. So, uh, you know, it, it's still it's still a multiplayer experience for Halo 5 on PC, so I'm not complaining. Um, we're going to get into the actual customs browser where you can find a uh, game in just a moment. But... Uh, from my experience, depending on the time of day, you're generally able to find easily uh, one to three um, custom games in progress that you can um, just jump right into, and they really vary um, as far as what they actually are. Um, granted, sometimes later in the night, uh, you might go in there and you find zero custom games, but the great thing is that even if there are zero active custom games, or if there's just not one that you can join or that you like, the thing is you can start up your own custom game 
and then you can set the privacy to allow anybody else that has this in the world to be able to join in on your custom game. Um, so you might be alone at first, but uh, usually, from my experience, it doesn't take that long to get somebody else to join you. So I'm just going to show how to do that real quick. Um, so obviously, multiplayer custom game uh, right here, privacy. You're going to want to set this to um, uh, open to all players, so anybody in the world can join. Uh, you do have map options. Um, you can choose a map that, um, you know, 343 Industries made. Uh, or you can choose a featured one. Uh, if you're going to choose a featured one in here, you would essentially click on the map you want, for example, this one, and you just click Play in Custom Games, and it'll select it for you as you're building your custom game to launch. Um, if you have most liked, uh, you can come grab one. Oh, no, this, this is the most liked maps, um, Forge maps, uh, based on how many likes each one has. So we definitely have some interesting ones here. Um, or if you have maps you've bookmarked, uh, then you can go there and you can select one of the maps you've bookmarked. This, you can see how many maps um, are here that I've bookmarked and whatnot. So um, real quick before I select a map, I do wanna go to um, uh, custom search now one thing I have noticed is that while you do have the ability to search maps by keyword, um, from my messing around with this, uh, searching maps by actual keyword is broken on the PC port. Uh, what I did do is I went into the uh, full-fledged uh, Halo 5 Guardians on Xbox and this feature worked wonderfully. I found some maps I like and I bookmarked them on Xbox. So now that I come back to Halo 5 Forge, um, I go to my bookmarks, and I can get one of the ones that I like, that I want to play. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. I'm just going to hit play in custom games. So now I have this open to all players. I have this map selected. I have Slayer selected. Granted, you can get into a lot of game mode options depending on what you want. Um, you can even get into a lot of different... Uh, um, you know, 343 made game mode options. I'm just gonna keep it set on Slayer for right now, though. Um, I'm starting out on Red Team, um, uh, Max Players 8, and I hit Start. Now, this is contacting a dedicated Microsoft server to spin up this game, and that's where, that that is going to be how um, it'll link me to other players. So, at this point, if anybody else goes into the Customs Browser um, option in here, they're going to see this game that I just started as a game they can join. Uh, and, you know, if somebody finds it and joins it, then they will be on this map with me. And we can fight and see um, who wins and whatnot. But it's, you know, a really, really cool set up here. Um, obviously, I'm about to exit out of this, which means uh, they'd be by themselves if they got in. Um, if nobody else joins me, then when I exit out, the game will disappear from the customs browser. Um, but yeah, so even if there's no games listed there, you can easily jump, jump into your own game, and quite often, someone will join you. Um, I'm not going to leave this open long enough to see if someone actually joins me, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the game right now. I'm first because nobody else was in. Um, anyhow, so yeah, that's basically that. Now I am going to go ahead and jump on over to um, looking at the actual customs browser where you will see me join somebody else's match um, and play through it. So... Um, Yeah, uh, I do hope you enjoy seeing the uh, seeing the gameplay um, again using uh, Halo 5 Forge for Windows 10, which is free to anybody who has a copy of Windows 10. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy what you've already seen this little tutorial, as well as um, 
uh, the gameplay you're about to see. And, uh, you know, thank you for watching this far if you've made it. And, um, you know, enjoy. Spartan down, enemy scatter shot. Lost one to a rocket. Sniper rifle. We lost one to a grenade. Enemy grenade! 